Welcome to Glenismal National School report, a history report on Glenismal in true Minecraft. Today you'll be learning about the history of Glenismal, such as the folklore, medicines, hellfire club, murders, myths and legends, cottages, school, water and waterworks, and much more. Yay! The last couple of weeks we've been creating Castle Kelly and Glenismal cottages. The cottages had three rooms with beds and a fire to cook the food. Most of them had lofts or attics. Before weather forecasts they were broadcast on the radio but the locals had their own way of doing it. If the leaves remained on the branches well into October it was a sign of cold winter or when the seagulls came 40 miles inland it was a sign of rain. On the feast of St Anne long ago, it was a custom of the people to hold a pattern in the brigs on that day. There was singing, dancing, drinking and faction fights, the PP put an end to it. Beyond the St Anne Cemetery is the entrance to the Glenismal Lodge. It was originally built by George Grayson, the King's printer in Ireland. Grayson's most notable work included the first edition to the Paradise Lost to be published in Ireland and a beautifully bound book of common prayer in the Irish House of Commons. It is, now, it is now preserved in the National Library. Castle Kelly, a village in Glenismal, is supposed to be called after Captain Kelly. One day a man came out for days fishing in the Dodder. After fishing for some time, he sat down to smoke and he saw some gold on the sand. He searched around and found two ounces. Searches were made afterwards, but no more gold was found. The school was built in 1958. There were two schools, a boys school and a girls school. Uh, it has 84 students right now and I'd say there were much more back then. When they were travelling to school they didn't have a car. No, if they didn't have a car or a horse they'd have to walk. The white thing in front of the door to the school was what they used to scrape muck off their shoes. They only had two teachers back then. The school has lots of old objects and buildings that are still in the school today. We use them to, for example, tower, the towers and archers are born, were made in 1958. There were lockers in Miss Griffin's classroom that are from 1958. The school gate and the shelter were built in 1958. Uh, the shelter was painted in 2003. In 2020, there was an extra classroom added on. We are now in the classroom. Ages ago, people used to make up strange cures. Here are some. The cure to diarrhea is to eat corn flour, and the cure to sore eyes is you need to put cold tea on your eye. The cure for tooth toothaches is to eat mustard, and the and the cure for sores is to let a dog lick your sores. This is the Hellfire Club built by Ronan, Indy, James, Holly and Jack. The house was built in 1720 for William Connolly, the speaker. It was built as a residence or a shooting lodge. Soon after its erection of the roof was torn by, off by a storm. A stone roof was put on it in 1735. One rule of the Hellfire Club was the men had to drink 10 glasses of whiskey before dinner and 4 glasses of whiskey after. A lot of the stories about the Hellfire Club are folklore. The stone that was used to build it was taken from the cabin before. If you look from the sky you can see the remains of a cairn beside the Hellfire Club. One of the men dropped his cards when one day the devil came to the Hellfire Club to play cards. One of the men dropped his cards when he reached down to get them. He was unaware that the devil was sitting right beside him. While he was reaching down, he saw the devil's hooves and it was said that the roof blew off. There was lots of mysterious meetings at the Hellfire. Satan was supposed to preside at the meetings. Some of the people claimed to have seen him returning from these meetings, but word has it, it was one of the members dressed in the skin, tails and horns of a cow who would roam about night terrifying the local people.
Nowadays, a lot of people visit the Hellfire Club to get thrills and scares. The waterworks was built in 1883 to 1887. The purpose was to provide drinking water for the Rathmines area and provide water for the 45 miles along the River Dodo. Those two reservoirs. There was a gauge at the dam that allowed 1,500 cubic feet of water to flow through the pipe in a minute. A few people drownings. A few people have been drowned in Bonabrina waterworks. Some parts are very dangerous, and anyone could slip and fall and in and get drowned. One such man was a man called Johnny Murphy. No one really knows what happened, but some people say that one night when he was coming home, he took a shortcut as usual from Bonabrina to Castle Kelly, where he lived. The water from the re in the reservoir comes from the Dublin and Wicklow Mountains. Nowadays, people go fishing in the reservoir. All around the reservoir, though, is a beautiful forest where doe and red squirrels live. We can see the reservoir from our school. There are lots of mills. Uh, there used to be a lot of mills on the River Daughter. They used to crush wheat into flour. This is the Kearney's cottage. Mr. Kearney was a father of two boys. They had a mean, greedy and rude landlord called Kinlan. One day there was a shot heard and Kinlan was missing. They, the Kearney's were accused of the murder of Kinlan in, and they were immediately executed in Piperstown 1816. They owned a farm too. A kern is not a graveyard, it is a hole in the ground that you put dead bodies in. There is lots of kerns in the country. There is still remains of bones and tools in all the kerns around. There are lots of kerns in Glenismal. The story of Turn and Oag is said to be taking place in Glenismal. This is a roller coaster of the story. Uh, Oisin was... No. Oshin travelled there with a beautiful lady to marry her on a beautiful horse. In turn and oak, he was going to live there forever. But then he missed Stefina and his father, so he wanted to go home. When he got home, he took his foot off the horse and immediately turned into a 300-year-old man. Our school crest has a picture of Oshin on the horse. This is the St. Anne's well. It, the, the water in the... Well, is said to cure a stomach disease. They dropped a coin in and took water. On a Sunday, they celebrated a feast in July. This is St. Santon's Church. It is known to be one of the oldest churches in, our, in the country. Uh, there is also a font at the entrance. It is said to be the uh, cursed because farmers tried to remove it but couldn't. St. Anne's Graveyard has a reputation of being one of the oldest in Ireland. It is around 300 yards away from St. Anne's Well. Although inactive now, it is very well known. This is the Kern. In the Kern, they would bring dead bodies down and either store them in coffins or cremate them and put them in va vases. This is St. Anne's Church. It is around 150 years old. The stone used to make it is mostly from the local quarry, except for the wood. The foundation stone was laid in 1868 by one of the most distinguished Irish churchmen of his time, His Eminence Cardinal Cullens, who had been Archbishop of Dublin prior to his appointment as the first of Ireland's cardinals in 1866. It was built in the 13th century. St. Anne's GAA was set up on the 3rd of March 1938. Uh, St. Anne's was started by a man named Father George, a, a curator in Bohonabrina. The first years were just friendly matches and tournaments. The first committee was elected on the 16th of 1937. Time Bestleys around the time Beasley's estate Bonabrina was being divided by the land commission. A 
community was successful in getting a pitch for playing on. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you learned something. Bye. Bye as well.